Hey boss, the plane, the plane! Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This is a view of the parking lot outside of the one-of-a-kind antique mall very early in the morning just as they're opening. You'll find some interesting curiosities. How often do you come across a battery jar? They do have some interesting fishing gear. These are a selection of some of the reels that they have on offer. And then you have toys of uh, all sorts. The booths are all over the place. There's uh, the same booth that had the fishing reels. They had some other ones here as well. Now I'm not sure if this is truly a vintage sign or it's a reproduction, but it looks pretty good either way. There's a piece of the past that most folks don't know. A clothes ringer from a, wa from a washing machine. Here we get a buck saw. It's not the same as a Swede saw, but the same principle is used. <laughs> yeah, so here we go. Where this will be the last one of this series of looking at all the booths in uh, one of a kind antique mall. This is the last of the first floor. We're getting close. After this, it'll be just uh, featured pieces here and there. Looking at things that have substantially changed or are particularly of interest. CDs, as you can see, toys of all sorts. A mannequin leg there, too. That way you can build your own lamp if you wish. Saw a glimpse of some vintage clothes. Bags. Some Barbie goodies. Jewelry. Handbags. Porcelain in this case, I suspect. Old glass. Hmm, some other things that they have there. It's not all the same. Collecting items, some purses again. A little statuary. Collector cards, at least in there. Some toys. Looks like some more jewelry or, or some other related items to the theme of this booth. This one's got Hot Wheels and other wheels. Little cars of all sorts. Yeah, you don't see the airplanes very often. There's another selection of jewelry and ceramics and porcelain. silver plate there briefly and some sell the pr supplies to do uh, either repurposing or, or refinishing of, of uh, existing pieces you may have or you want to make it look 
a specific way. Glassware of a variety of colors is always available. It looks like a large crock pot. Some Pyrex shows up here and there. Some have a larger selection, others have a small selection. Oh yes, the selection of electronics of, and, and electrical equipment. Some for cars, some for other other things, whether they're 120 volt or they're 12 or 24 volt. I think I saw a spinning wheel there briefly. Lamps, furniture, other decorative items. Ah, Betty Boop even shows up. Some live edge boards again. Like I said in the previous video, there's a few booths that have those. Not sure if they're all the same person. The Pyrex bowl set there. brown brown jugs oh yes the accordion camera I think those used like 127 film 126 was a cassette version of the same film used the, in the 70s maybe in the 60s as well it was a pink Cadillac there briefly some some interesting older Vessels for fluids, thermos and mugs, older electronics, some lights, LPs, looks like they have cassettes and CDs in this one as well, probably uh, DVDs as well in, in, in there somewhere as well. I don't know if these are new or old, but they look pretty good. Some there's definitely some old ones, but don't know if they're all old. It's something you check on on your own. These ladders, they look like they're just shortened up uh, extension ladders. Some memorabilia here. LPs, signage, mirrors, oh, lots of signs there. And the Beatles, they get, their name pops up here, there, and everywhere. I think it's more than just milk glass, I think it's Pyrex milk glass. If not Pyrex, it could be Fire King. There's another buck saw. Well, if those are steering wheels, pulleys, or or just hand hand wheels for uh, turning something, I think those uh, bins were separately for sale. Interesting table. Um, I've, I believe the top is enamel. The edge. Looks like it could be metal or, well, let's call it just metal. Green enamel tabletop. And it has two, two, two extenders. Thanks a lot, folks. Hope you enjoyed this. 
This closes off the one-of-a-kind antique mall. Uh, you can give us a subscribe and, a, and a, a like. It'd be appreciated. Give us a tinkle on the bell if you want to be notified. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.